Hello mate, let's take a look at the vertical grip for the Fuji X-T1. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, very slim. I like the camera, which is made in Japan. The vertical grip is made in China. However, it is extremely nice quality. Um, one of the things, uh, this is actually one of the few products that I've uh, acquired recently that I wasn't, uh, didn't uh, test uh, beforehand and didn't already know about. I mean, I've already used the X-T1 and the Fuji X-T10, a bunch of other products before purchasing them myself, but one of the one things I was certainly pleased about is the fact that there are spring-loaded gold-plated contacts on uh, the vertical grip for the Fuji X-T1, just as is present uh, on the uh, Nikon D700, but uh, the uh, actual... Uh, contact mesh uh, between like the Nikon D750 and the Nikon D810 and others is certainly a lot more fragile and it is something however this is certainly a lot smaller of a camera so there is not as much torque if you were actually attach like a black rapid strap to the bottom uh, there is a possibility especially with a heavier lens that uh, you would actually and I know if there are a few instances where this is the case that if this uh, comes uh, slightly detached at all then you have a torque contact uh, destruction of the vertical grip with the camera on the Nikon D750 or the D810 or otherwise but even though this is a lighter camera I am surprised that they went with a more expensive uh, spring-loaded uh, gold contact for that now the actual removable plate which is just a little rubber pad same way as it, they stole the idea from Nikon, which is a good idea. If you remove that, you place it here as a little caddy. Does hold one battery. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Um, the one thing that I would have liked a little better is uh, if, uh, especially the focus assist buttons and the uh, auto exposure lock and auto focus lock buttons were a little larger most especially the focus is this since I have most of the stuff that I use are manual focus lenses uh, using focus peaking uh, front and rear uh, command dial and sub command dial are nearly identical as on the X-T1 you can feel that they are slightly inferior so far as quality but I mean that would be the case um, shutter actuation depression as far as positive affirmation of when you're actually going to release the shutter is extremely nice on the vertical grip. Um, currently it's on sale, normally it's $250, currently it's on sale for uh, $199. Um, I think it was actually marked here on the vertical grip. Yeah it is, it's also marked made in China. It's rather fascinating is that uh, this black here is actually felt you can't tell it through the video but this is actually all felt um, I believe part of this vertical grip from what I can tell I'm trying to flex it uh, does have magnesium interlays I don't know if it's a solid piece or if it's magnesium plates um, but it is extremely nice construction and I actually uh, love it on the Fuji uh, X-T1 uh, as I mentioned to some other people that were talking about the uh, viewfinders that the, the viewfinder on the Fuji X-T1 compared to any other camera that you've ever used is like looking through a ship's porthole and everything else is like looking through a toilet paper tube by comparison so let's take a look at the profile of the actual camera with the vertical grip attached there is also a nice uh, lanyard uh, loop bar here for uh, attaching uh, um, either I would use like a nylon strap, I mean there's uh, many different ways to attach right here on the base of the vertical grip for uh, the Fuji X-T1. And let's unlock the battery compartment door. There is also a, uh, a cutout here for attaching the same way as on an icon uh, for attaching uh, external power, although I can never see myself ever using that on an icon or on this Fuji unit. I'm sure there's some knucklehead out there that needs that. But this is the profile of the vertical grip for the Fuji X-T1. It is incredibly nice. It's actually nicer than I thought it would be. So camera made in Japan, vertical grip made in China. No big deal. Um, they seem to actually mesh up perfectly. You have no disparity 
and actually the fit or feel or finish and quality between the two as far as one being a, a nasty afterthought like uh, some other accessory products this does not have that uh, does not have that rendering once you made it up with the, the Fuji X-T1 uh, chassis so anyway take a look at the next video and we'll do a speed startup comparison between the Fuji X-T1 and the Fuji X-T10 okay bye